Hey, it's Nick. I am on site here. It's been quite a while since I made a video, but I thought I would show you what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So what we're doing right now is a small terror seeding project, which means we're gonna blow on a compost with injected seed with my blower truck here that Zach is getting out of. Just got this wrapped. I'm uh, very happy with how it turned out. What's happening, good sir? All right. You good? Yeah, this thing looks sick, eh? So yeah, all I was gonna say is this is sort of a favor for a really good customer of ours. Uh, shout out to Clintar Kitchener. We do a lot of mulch work for them and they had this little project on the go. Typically, uh, I mean, we would still do something like this, but we, we would charge a lot for it. This is more or less, uh, you know, a favor for, uh, for a good customer, like I said. So a lot of people ask me how this truck actually works. It's built by Express Blower. Uh, it's, this model is called the TM45, which means it's a truck mounted unit. And what's mounted on the truck is that big Cat C9 engine. It's like 400 and something horse. There are other trucks that are very comparable, but they're actually PTO driven by the uh, truck's engine. However, they don't have quite as much power. Uh, but the upside of those trucks is they can hold more material. So our truck holds about 40 yards of material. A larger truck can hold as much as 60. Uh, anyway, as far as how the truck actually works, our big external engine there powers a blower, blows the air down some tubes all the way to the end into something called the airlock. And the airlock is um, basically this feeder and it has these different compartments. And as material is walked to the back of the truck with the live bottom uh, floor, material gets dropped into the feeder, it spins around, and at the bottom of that feeder, air gets forced through it, and then it gets pushed out the hose, as you're seeing right now. With the terra seeding application we're doing right now, there's also a seed injector. So your compost is just getting blown right out the hose, as you can see, and then on the other side of the truck, actually, uh, you probably saw it earlier in the video where Mark was filling it up, but that uh, stainless steel box that has all the seed in it, that's computer calibrated to inject exact amount of seed you want for whatever project you're working on. So as you can see, Zach's applying about an inch of material behind me. Uh, for a flat standard application like this, it's going to be a one inch application. If you're working on a slope, it's typically two. If it's a very extreme slope, it could even be three inches. If you're top dressing existing turf, it could be as little as like, you know, half an inch. Um, and if you take a look at the actual material here, you can see it's a very fine, very organic rich material with your seed there. And uh, this stuff, you know, opposed to uh, hydro seeding, where you're just spraying on water with your seed and fertilizer injected, this is essentially planting the seed as it's applied. So you could put this on concrete like that, and if you applied, you know, two inches of this on the concrete, it's gonna grow here. So I'm glad I could show you our little project this morning. The guys are just wrapping up now and we're about to be on to the next one. Um, jobs like this make up about a third of the work we do. The other third would be mulch uh, for flower beds, uh, all commercial. We don't really touch residential anymore. I don't even think we've been on a single residential job this year. Uh, anyway, the other third is playgrounds and those are probably our favorite. They're the easiest, the, you get the most amount of yardage out. Um, with all that being said, appreciate you watching. If you're interested in more content like this on the summer side, I haven't done a lot of it, uh, but if, uh, if you guys enjoy it, I would love to pump out some more for you. So we'll see you in the next one.